I get a uh, double smoked bacon and cheddar? And then can I also get a vanilla bean cream? Um, big, um, big, um, big, 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 big. Thank you. So right now we're on our way to the detail shop. It's about an hour away. It's in Shreveport, Louisiana. And today I believe they're gonna get started on completely cleaning the car up and then beginning stages of paint correction. So hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit of that on video and show you guys basically the place that I'm gonna be taking it to, all kinds of good stuff like that. And then sadly I'm gonna have to drop it off and leave it there for around about three to four days. I just dropped this car off for a few days last weekend to get the oil pump gears put in and now here we are a week later dropping it off once again for another few days. But hopefully it's gonna be worth it. The guys there do great work as far as I've seen and heard. So I'm excited to meet them. Actually get this car underway, getting ceramic coated. I know the finished outcome is gonna be absolutely amazing. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, so we are finally about to pull up. We're about 11 minutes away or so. And for those of you curious, I've had a few people asking what brand of ceramic coating that I'm going with. The guys that are going to be doing it are going to be using an SB3 coating. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it, so I'm excited to see how it works. So I'm excited to hear some more details on it. So I'm just now pulling up to the body shop. Just got off the phone with Jeremy. He said that he is right down the road, so he will be here shortly. This is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, not too much. How's it going? Gavin, it's nice to meet you. Jeremy Grant, now right here on the fenders. <laughs> it just rolls right off. Yeah, that is know? crazy. All right, guys. So you saw on his truck just now an example of what it looks like and how it works. Right now, I'm pulling the car around back. I haven't washed this car in a few days, so it's really dirty. There's some water spots in the car. So I want to show you guys uh, before and then how it's going to look afterwards so you have something to compare the changes to. You can see up close that there is a lot of surface scratching right here. Lots of swirl marks, bunch of water spots everywhere, and already for the paint being so new, it's in really rough shape. And that's pretty much the primary reason that a lot of people go and start doing ceramic coatings on black paint, is that way it can restore it and keep it looking black. And again, the hydrophobic properties of it are really amazing. So now you guys know the condition that the paint's in before, and so now you can see the actual true finish whenever he's done of how good it comes out. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started detailing this car because like I said, I brought it to him really dirty. This might sound kind of crazy, but ever since I even heard about ceramic coating a long time ago, that has been like a dream of mine to have one of my cars ceramic coated and never did. So I'm glad that it was this one because this is the one that I plan to keep for a long time. So. Right now we're just letting the car soak. He's about to get started on hand washing it. After that we're gonna go ahead and get started decontaminating the paint and uh, doing clay bars, stuff like that. And then it's gonna be ready to get started on. And so that's just basically just to decontaminate the paint, right? This, Get all it. this is doing right here is if there's any metal in the paint, it'll react with it, turn purple. It's so basically after the decontamination, then uh, paint correction's next, just to get all the scratches, swirl marks, stuff like yeah, that out. Yeah, I'm gonna clay it and make sure that, you know, there's nothing, no bonded contaminants. And so the clay just pulls all the micro. Yeah. Just gets everything that's bonded to the clear coat off. I mean, you can see a little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, even after washing it, 
foaming it, hand wash, yeah. decon, they're still, you oh, yeah. know. crazy even without drying you can see how much better it looks after the clay bar that paint looks amazing thing to do if you want to know if your paint's got contamination get a get a sandwich bag or a pair of gloves mm -hmm. like this right here feels like sandpaper really yeah i got so, you I mean, you could probably hear it oh yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> you can yeah there's there was something right there yeah i don't know what it was but there was something you can tell it's completely done. There's no wax on there just because of how it's sitting on the paint, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, Water is not coming off of the paint. It's just hanging out. And so you're saying that it's good to have it completely gone with no wax or any residue on there. Yeah, no wax, no residue, no sealants. You want the paint... Completely bare. Completely bare. Number one, because it's it's uh, it's easier if the machine doesn't have to work as hard. Number two, you don't have anything that could be hiding potential defects. And then right. when you get done, you're like, well, I didn't see that patch of swirls. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, right here in this light, you can see how shallow the paint actually looks. I'm excited to see the depth that it has after the coating. All right, guys, paint is completely prepped. Everything is good to go. He's now gonna get started on the paint correction, do some touch-up paint on the rock chips and everything like that. So I'm actually about to move the car down there to the other end of the shop. We're gonna go grab some lunch, and then I'm probably gonna get a ride and leave and go back home and leave him to it. So yeah, after we leave here though, that's probably gonna be all for today. I'm probably not even gonna see the car until we come back and it's gonna be completely done. So I'm super, super, super excited. I always get separation anxiety whenever I have to leave this car places. Oh well, next time I see you, you are gonna look much better. No! <laughs> oh.